years seem to pass Questions we used to ask Where did they go so fast? Sweet pictures of way back when I fell in love again Who was that dear old friend? one these days. Oh. Timmy's the only one I could find today. Oh, you mean you have more than one boyfriend? It's much better to have more than just one, just in case oh. one of them changes his mind. But I suppose you're too old to realize the change in male-female relationships. A girl has to protect herself. <laughs> How many boyfriends do you have? Um, let's not go into that. I don't blame you for evading the issue. Values change with age. When I'm as old as you are, I won't have to worry about them either. Who's that? Oh, just someone who runs. He reminds me of a rabbit. Don't go away. I want you to meet someone. <laughs> That's your pigeon. He's a jogging freak. Does he always take the same route? Always. At first, it was difficult to figure out his next move, but here, he's like a machine. Every day, the same route. That makes it easier. He owes the organization a fortune. The boss wants him wasted. There's 50 grand in it for you. Can you handle it? It's a piece of cake.
What's happened to her? Probably fainted. She's a very sensitive person, you know. Some people faint at anything, like when they see a mouse or blood. Is there anything wrong, madam? No. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You're as white as a ghost. Don't you feel well? May I help? No, no, it's all right. I'm very comfortable in this position. I assure you I'm all right. I'd be very happy to drop you off somewhere. I've got a car near the gate. If I were you, I'd go with him. No, thank you. I'll manage. Okay, if you're sure. Anyhow, I'm late for a very important date. I must go now. Again. He's just phoned me. This time he's got a friend with him. But she says he's really tasty. Play your cards right and the four of us could have an interesting evening. Touch your makeup, splash your cologne, what do you say? I don't. You know what I think about going out with married men. Who said anything about him being married? Oh, Richard's married, right? Oh, Alice, don't be so prudish. This is the 20th century, the age of frisbees, remember? Besides, Richard's wife's 200 miles away. 200 miles. That's far enough away for me to make him single. So shall I phone him and set it up for 7 o'clock? Oh, save your breath, Mona. I'm not interested. Well, suit yourself, darling, but I think you're making a big mistake. Please. Oh. What are you saving yourself for, posterity? This is where we attach the last outer element. We've managed to simplify this model, and that, of course, helps to reduce the cost. It's a simple and inexpensive model that will probably have the best chance abroad. <laughs> And now the quality control department. Right, so. That's interesting. My company is very interested in the export of inexpensive TV sets. Uh, don't let the price mislead you. Even though they're inexpensive, we still maintain the quality. But uh, maybe we could discuss it over lunch, eh? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. I have a date. Uh, we'll get together the next time. Uh, look, sweetheart. Do you happen to know where the employees have lunch?
Good afternoon, madame. Welcome to Chateau Mania. What's your pleasure? I'll have a chef salad and a cup of coffee with cream. Oh, really, miss? Salads are for rabbits. May I suggest the speciality of the day, also buco. Mmm, magnifique. Just the salad and coffee, please. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah. At Chateau Mania, we are also noted for our extremely fast service. Et voilà, one chef's salad. You're not a waiter at all. No. But when one is on the verge of bankruptcy and in my straits, one can't be too choosy about his part-time profession. So, I work as a waiter, which is bad for the figure, because one tends to eat too much. Hmm? I see. That accounts for the jogging. <laughs> you have noticed that. But most important, jogging is exhilarating, healthy. It takes me through a beautiful park, which frankly affords me the excuse to see you sitting on the same bench Day after day after day. That's a schoolboy's excuse. But it's very flattering, thank you. You're very good at it. At what? Running. Ah, well, it's a question of habit. I've been running all my life. You work here? Well, I'm not exactly in the running for Yves Saint Laurent. You should. Pretty enough. Tell me, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? I like it. No, I mean... Don't you have any dreams, any ambitions? Like wanting to be an actress, a model, or an airline stewardess? Exactly. All little girls grow up wanting to be those things. At least that's the way they tell it in uh, fairy tales and bedtime stories. <laughs> Wrong. I was a stewardess. I hated the job. And I grew to dislike it even more when I married a pilot. You marry the fly boy, hmm? That poses a bit of a problem. I'm a little rusty in the art of enticing pilot's wife. Ex. Pardon? Ex-wife. Ah, that makes it easier. Now I understand. No, you don't understand. Excuse me, I'll be late for work. Thanks for the lunch. But you didn't, you didn't touch it. L look, look, what did I say? Women. I'm a rabbit. Here, Griffin, do you know that the Leaning Tower of Pisa is losing weight? Great. No, honest. In 1908, it weighed 14,486 tons, and now it weighs 14,202 tons. But what do you suppose it is that makes it lose weight? How should I know? Perhaps it worries too much. You and your stupid questions. Evening, Alice. Want a lift? No, oh, thanks. Have things to do. Hop on. No, thank you. A sound decision. You've been risking your life taking a ride with such an illiterate. May I offer you the thrust of Valencia, the elegance of a Cadillac, the smoothness of a Rolls Royce, m'lady? Piloted, of course, by yours truly. How about it? No, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow morning. See you. That's called Turtle Blew It Again. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Still trying, huh? No chance. She's still carrying a torch for Cheshire Cat. Why don't you give up? I mean, that girl's so negative. She even signs her name with a question mark. She's such a downer lately. Tell me about it. Come on, mate. Race you for a drink. Oh, can I have a lift? Later, Mona. What's the matter with you? Everything seems to bother you lately. Well, things just haven't been going well for me. Business is bad, and my love life is even worse. Another fashion model leave you? Listen, Queenie. Now, seriously. I need money. How much? A lot. That much. It's easy for you. You're the queen of hearts. You have money, and I have not And I owe it to the wrong people. They won't catch you, El Rabbit. You're too fast and too frightened. Should have married a wealthy woman. When I wanted to. Where does it come from, Queenie, all your money? Rich husbands? Oh, listen that. 
back in this. It's not rabbit, I hope. month is it? The fourth. Two days wrong. I knew butter wouldn't suit the works. Then some crumbs must have got in as well. You should have put it in with a bread knife. It was the best butter, you know. Have some wine. I don't see any wine. There isn't any. And it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. Your hair. Your hair needs cutting. So does your head, Mad Hatter. Always in good shape, huh? On the contrary. I am very upset. See, see. Who has sent the clouds scudding across the royal face, Queenie? The same and only. <laughs> Missed. Frankly, Queenie, I don't see what you ever saw in Rabbit. Maybe, maybe it was his ears. Oh, Hatter, Mad Hatter, have you ever been in love? Permanently. Constantly. Yes, of course. With yourself. Did you ever take a good look at me, Queenie? And he had the cheek to ask me for money. If you want my advice, make him poor. That will bring him back crawling. Who says I want him back? That's more like it. And remember, I like what I get isn't quite the same as I get what I like. He's in trouble. Oh, boy, is he in trouble. And I am the only one to help him. Off with his head. Without verdict? You know my rules. Sentence first, verdict afterwards. <laughs> I was looking for the concierge. Would that be you? It would be if she'd ever quit. Uh, is she here? I have to talk to her. 
It's a personal matter. She's next door. She's cleaning the pavilion. Thank you. The man's bananas. Lovely lady, how I could use your advice. Could you? I'm the man of honor. But you have your price. Sure I do. I have seen a girl who looks very nice. Really? Does she live here? Is she married? Please be precise. Does she live here? Is she married? Please be precise. Do the old Felician trick. Watch my hands because I'm quick. Take a step and then you kick. And do the old Felician trick. Come on now. Do the old Felician trick. I'm sure that you're a man of great acclaim. Am I? And I guess I may be able to drop her name. Oh, yes, please do. Alice is delightful and very tame. Great. Yes, she lives in no, she's single, sure glad you came. Yes, she lives in no, she's single, sure glad you came. Do the old finishing trick. Watch my hands because I'm quick. Pretty lady, you have been so nice to me. That's my job, of course, I do it without fee. Just a small donation, don't you agree? Does she live here? Yes, she's single, talking, talking is free. Does she live here? Yes, she's single, talking is free. Do the old Venetian trick. Wash my hands because I'm quick. Drive me here. Drive me there. Always in a rush to go somewhere. Sorry? Were you talking to me? You're the only one back there, unless you brought an invisible friend. Yeah, and don't expect me to turn around and hold a conversation with you. My job is to keep my eyes on the road, and no tapping me on the shoulder to make me drive faster. That bugs me. I wasn't tapping anyone on the shoulder. Oh, no, not yet. But five will get you ten that you'll be tapping by the time we reach the next intersection and ask if I can't speed up a bit. Well, I must admit, you have a unique way of starting a conversation. On the contrary, would you slow down a little, please? Hey, now, that's real clever. Now, that's a new approach. How'd you ever come up with it? Just lucky, I guess. But the truth is, I'm not in a hurry to get where I'm going. Hey, now, that's the switch. In my day, the girls busted their bustles to get to a date on time. Boy, the world has changed. Don't blame the world. It's me. I've changed. Well, that's rubbish. No one really changes. Look at me. When I get up in the morning and face that mirror to shave, it's still the same old me. You just take a harder look as you get older, that's all. Guess you're right. We all face that mirror. Seen Cheshire Cat? Oh, there, man. Before I can reach him? I mean, if I happen to lay over, maybe we could have a drink. What is it? 
It's double two seven. Double two seven. Oh one. Oh one. Double nine. Double nine. Well, great. I'll be in London on Saturday, so um, I'll give you a buzz. Right. Another recruiting drive. Still the same old Cheshire type. Excuse me. Hello, darling. Long Long time my see. Flight. Ah, Thanks uh, for the drink. Fine. Well, she was having trouble with her luggage, and I just gave her a hand. Is there a point to this meeting, or do I leave now? Alice, will you please sit down? Please, Alice, sit down. I'm leaving Chris. There are far too many regrets on my part for what happened between us. And she? She's miserable, too. Hmm. She still likes you, Alice. She is your best friend. Uh, was. Hmm. You have a childish way of mixing up your tenses, Cat. Look, I don't care how you slice it, Alice. I want you back. That's why I called. I mean, this separation thing's a drag. I want for us to try making it together again. For how long? What do you mean, for how long? I mean, what kind of a question is that? For how long? Um, I mean, uh, until another Chris, or uh, another phone call from uh, London, or... Uh... Uh, Alice, you can't hold me to something like that. I won't hold you to anything. I'm grateful for this interlude, Cat. It's made me realize how much I don't need you. So wipe that smile off your face and tell your lawyer to send those papers. Uh, hold on, Alice. No way, I've just let go. And it feels just fine. It's a cause for celebration. Buy yourself a drink, okay? Bye. Well, sir, I'd like to go for a ride. And don't care much about the fear or place you decide I train a plane, the airport will do So drive, Mr. Driver, cause I've got to find something new Drive on, drive on, well that's all you can say Nobody ever asked me about the way I'm feeling today You're in a hurry, and I wonder why The might steal the plane, but nobody steal the sky To go far I've seen your face And I know your kind You catch a plane And try to leave your troubles Behind So who are you Can you tell me dear I just don't know I guess that I'm a face In your mirror as a man Because we're bound to find something new We'll take the world and turn it upside down And change the things that we think need changing around If things are different, then they're not the same So share your sunshine and I give you some of my rain Just don't know. 
I guess that uh, <laughs> your face in my mirror. <laughs> You know that the prairie dog isn't really a dog. It's a large rodent. Hey, that's the guy I told you about. What's he doing round here? I can't imagine. I can. I don't like the look of him. Listen, Alice, you want to be careful. In 16th century England, bachelors were required by law to be indoors by 9 p.m. It's very sensible. Alice, look, you're very vulnerable just now. And it's not that we want to interfere, it's just that, well, we are friends, right? Check, mate. Hey, Alice. Could you get me a very, very sharp knife? A very, very sharp knife? What do you need it for? I'll tell you later. Is something wrong? Everything. It's just that Doris. She's awful. She stole my boyfriend Peter away from me. And somebody's gonna pay for that. Oh, now you're old enough to be getting rid of boyfriends. Well, maybe just one, because I still have two left. But it always hurts when you lose somebody. Mm -hmm. You're so right. No one can make it alone.
coming. Mm -hmm. It's not him. Good evening, madame. Your landlady has told me that the faucets in your apartment are leaking. I'm the plumber. My landlady told you? Yes, your landlady told me. Well, it was the concierge. I came by earlier, but you went home. You see, my bankruptcy seems to be more serious than I ever imagined. My waiter's salary is still insufficient, and now I even have to work part-time as a plumber. Besides, I really want to talk to you again. But after our last little run-in, I was afraid you wouldn't even open the door. That's why I was disguised. You're in luck. The faucet is really leaking. Come on. Show me your expertise. Well, just stand aside. I'm glad you came prepared. Oh, it's really nothing. Ah, got it. All I have to do is screw it tight. Maybe it needs a new washer. Oh, oh don't just stand there! You can do it now. Well, I tend to invite you to the party. Give me the rag. Since I've messed up your flat, the least I can do is offer you a drink. Champagne matches the color of your hair. Mm, the music really sets the mood. <laughs> I suggest the records had a lot of wear and tear. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yes, oh, uh, well, uh, it does have a few scratches. Sorry about that. Oh, don't be. Now I know what I can get you for Christmas. But you know, when one succumbs to the mood, one tends to forget. <laughs> Technical defects. Hmm. Be right back. Maybe a little less romantic. <laughs> and uh, a little more technical perfection, huh? Queenie, rabbit. Oh, rabbit. How nice. I suppose you're ringing to tell me that you can't make my party tonight. Oh, no, on the contrary. Not only can I make it, but there'll be two of us. Hope you don't mind. Oh, rabbit. You know it's me casa, tu casa. You know that you can bring any of your little friends around. Will it be another fashion model? See for yourself. You'll love her. Well, you certainly sound very happy. A better mood now. Are all your little problems over? Come on, Queenie. This isn't the time to think about it. I'll manage. Then it'll be a pleasure to see you tonight. Bye-bye, bunnykins. And you are fired!
friends. Lovely. Am I? Hey, we're in for a terrific evening. You excited? I know. I've heard about our parties. I'm sure you'll love Queenie. She's my dearest friend. Come on, this. So hear your friends and gather round. I'd like to welcome you to town. I'll have some Russian caviar. Dear boy, would you like my cigar? The champagne's chilled to start the feast. Now won't you change the glasses, please? This pink champagne does suit my taste. I think I see a brand new face. You're right, March Hare, and it's a must that someone here introduce us. My pleasure, Queenie. May I present a rather delicate element. Her name is Alice, a pretty child. I hope you're going to stay a while. Drink, <laughs> the less you waste. I think I've had enough for now. I never drink much anyhow. Oh, nonsense, dear. The night is young. You see, we've only just begun. Don't worry, Alice. They mean no harm. There's really no cause for alarm. It's just a joke. So take it light and try to have <laughs> some fun tonight. A pretty thing with much to learn. Don't worry, Hattie. You get your turn. What did they say? Just let it pass. Would someone here please change this glass? Small talk, they're talking small. They like important cheese. Talk small, don't talk at all Now change the glasses, please Now change the glasses, please Well, Harry, don't you think it's odd That no one here has touched that card? <gasps> you're right! You're right, it's such a shame he is to blame. She always says that when she's tired. Last time, I think, the maid was fired. Well, look at Alice. Kale surprise. I've seen that look that's in her eyes. You don't think she could love the rabbit? <laughs> She'd be the first to break his habit. Don't talk of love. I'll have your hands, don't say that word Is something wrong? She seems upset No, not at all But don't forget She drank a lot of pink champagne Now change the glasses once again Small town, they're talking small They're like imported cheese Talk small, don't talk at all. Now change 
change the glasses, please. I think it's time to go. Don't you be serious. We're not yet through. The weekend's only just begun. I thought you came to have some fun. You surely want to come along. What do you say? There is nothing wrong. We'll play some tennis. You ride my horse. I hope you stay. You stay, of course. Perhaps I could. Perhaps I will. I've got a little time to kill. A pretty girl with much to learn. When rabbits through, I'll take my turn. Well then, it's settled. Quite nice. Quite nice. I put some more champagne on ice. I think I'll have a little wine and change the glasses one more time. Small talk, they're talking small. They like imported cheese. Talk small, don't talk at all. Now change the glasses, please. please. Dueling in Uruguay is legal, as long as both parties are registered blood donors. What is biting you, eh? Only female mosquitoes bite. The male isn't equipped for biting. I don't know what you expect from her. You've said nothing to her, and when you do crawl out of your shell, it's to tell her about the wingspan of the Atlas moth or something. Now, do you think she's interested in stuff like that? I don't care. Anyway, I'm going away next week to start a new life. As what? I don't know. Joseph Conrad couldn't write a word of English till he was 47. You're gonna be a writer. No, I'm just getting away from here. I had planned to say something to her for weeks. And then when I finally work up the courage, it's too late. Oh, I wish I'd never met her. Morning depression, evening blues, who needs it? What I need is a girl who can share in my interests. So find a librarian. No, what you need is a girl you're so sure of that you don't have to tell her anything except how high a flea can jump. That's exactly right. No tricks, no games. Someone whose answer I know before I even ask the question. I can't walk on a string, can you? No, but a tightrope walker from Hungary walked on a string for nine hours. See, I know things too. Well, I'm not a tightrope walker. Well, try crawling.
Saving my neck, that's what I'm doing. By painting flowers? Look, lady, don't bother me. Do you know what my boss does to clerks who screw up an order? Like this. Man, I'm always fouling up. But the white is so pretty, why change them? You don't understand. My boss told me to order one gross of white carnations and two dozen gross of mixed bouquet. Boy, am I in trouble. I got confused. I ordered two dozen gross of white and one gross of mixed. So if you don't mind, get lost, please. I'll beat it before he gets back. But just spraying them, one at a time. Now, don't you start picking on me. Well, I'm just trying to help. Now, let me show you. First, we start with red, OK? Lots. Huh? Very good. How beautiful. Very nice. And then yellow. Gosh, that's pretty. Then blue. Ah, beautiful. Wow, great. Marvelous, man. And then green, hit me with the green. green. Voila! That, ah, mixed, boo, K. Beautiful one, no? Wow, you're a genius. Yeah, I know that. You just saved my life. Don't mention it. Bye. Hey, wait. Huh? For you. Oh, thanks. That's great. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in love again. For wash, cut, and blow, and dry. Now, the moral of that is, tis love, tis love that makes hairstylists rich. <laughs> now, what are we gonna do with this mess? Huh? Ooh, you're ready for a change, girl. <sighs> I suggest a change. Uh, something fantastic. Or better still, drastic. What do you mean? Hey! Drastic. My, my, we are preoccupied, aren't mm. we? Which does create a tendency to stop talking. There's a moral there somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Uh, you suggested a change. Oh, yes. Now, let's see. No cut, no. a good perm, a touch of pink toner, and a teensy-weensy movement of the pot. Well, I was thinking of something more like... Yes? A touch of pink toner and a teensy-weensy movement ah. on the top. Exactly. You have good taste. Oh, Duchess, would you... I'll be right with you, my please? dear. Okay. No, 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 too short. This is a hairstyling establishment, not a cue ball factory. Let me show you. Don't move. Patience is a virtue. I just don't like that rabbit man. It's plain to see that he's cooked up some kind of plan And little Alice should be on the alert Cause she's the one who is bound to get herself hurt His tailored suits and his pretty shoes are all he's got Cause he's nothing else but bad news And if I see him here just one more time He'll be in trouble Cause I really don't like his kind
I drop by for your opinion. What are you doing here? You're taking a bus with us on today. It's your day off, isn't it? It is. I came to show you the new me. Like it? Like what? You didn't notice. My hair. Well, there's something that's not the old you. And it's not just the old quaff ducks. Something's definitely happened. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Um... Is it a man? I thought you'd never ask. Oh? And what a man, my gosh! His name is Rabbit. Rabbit? Rabbit. Rabbit? Rabbit! Rabbit! Rabbit, oh, I love you, Rabbit! living on Earth by approximately 30 to 1? How did you know that? You're not the only one who hides behind the pages of a book. Hey, you've gone and changed your hair. Oh, boy, finally someone noticed. <laughs> Does a lot for you. Oh, thank you, Turtle. You've got a happy face. Cause for celebration. Off on, we'll go pop the cork off a beer. Oh, that, that's very nice of you, but I can't. I'm in a hurry. I've got a date! Yeah, with that bunny guy again, I suppose. Oh, bunny, that's very funny. <laughs> Ever since you met that fugitive from a carrot patch, you got time for no one anymore. Okay. Tell you what, I'll hop on, but you promise to take me home. Well, it's a start. <laughs> to see me.
But it does. The rest of the rabbit's dead or it's our head. Rabbit? Rabbit! Rabbit? What happened? Going somewhere? In a hurry. What's wrong? I'm in trouble. That's my middle name. Trouble. Will you be gone long? Forever. What's going to happen to us? What us? There can't be any us. It's over, Alice. There's no room for any us in my life. I love you, Rabbit. Did you hear me? I love you! Stop it! You can't love me and I can't love you. It can't ever be. It's as simple as that. Now, if you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and walk out the door. Damn it! There's trouble, and I don't want to see you hurt. Please, Alice. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Alice. If this were only some other place, some other time. Say you love me, please. I love you. Goodbye, Rabbit. We'll meet again. In our dreams. Perhaps. <laughs> now you must go. <laughs> Please, will you go now? There's no saying what she'll do in her state of mind. She must have it off the hook. Mm. I'm worried. Mm. <laughs> oh. hear your voice I wouldn't call but I just had no choice everything's fine I thought you'd like to know my friends still come around but works a little slow Hello, my friend, just drop by if you can. We'll have a talk 
I'm sure you'll understand How about lunch Just any afternoon I'll cook You bring the wine Let's get together soon Hello, my friend. It really has been nice. You're always there when I need some advice. Talk about me. I told you were slow. Keep trying. I have been trying. What are you doing? Thinking. That's great, isn't it? If you're so worried, why don't you go up and see her? Uh.
Yes. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Now he'll be out the way. No, I've never had told her anything. I don't like him, but she does. Anyway, I'm not letting him get away with it. Come on.
get in. your bill, sir. away with what? She's a very sensitive person, you know. Some people faint at anything. Is there anything wrong, madame? Oh. You want me to drive you somewhere? I've got a car near the gate. No, thank you. I'll manage. I have to go now. Bye. He reminds me of a rabbit.
Yeah. 